Hi, my name is Frank Salas. I go by the name The Talented Mr. Salas. And in this video, I want to show you exactly how to share your password with your virtual assistants without sharing your password with your virtual assistant. You're only going to give them access to your account, but not access to your password. Currently, I'm in Columbia. I want to show you my view working from home today. And this is my office. And the reason that I'm able to work in Columbia even though I am a licensed realtor in the great state of Texas is because I have systems and procedures in place and I outsource all of my busy work to my virtual assistants. And the way that I'm able to do that is by sharing my passwords to them. So what I want to do is I want to share with you guys how I share my passwords 100% so I don't get hacked or anything bad happens to me. So I'm going to share my screen with you right here this is the platform you want to use is absolutely free this is called LastPass, and what i love about LastPass is it's not only free it's a, a chrome plugin i don't know if it's on mozilla or firefox uh, i use chrome and it's on there now once you download this again this is free you can actually just click on these three little dots over here and go over to your vault and what this does it's, it opens up your password vault so any of the uh you know, things that you're using every single day, you can just put them in here and then give your virtual assistants access to those. So for example, if I wanna give my virtual assistants access to my Craigslist accounts, so I'm in real estate and then with real estate, we have a lot of uh, Craigslist accounts and we post up, I wanna say anywhere from 150 to 200 Craigslist accounts per day and each account only has a maximum of 50 that you can do. So we like to space it out in different accounts. So let's say I bring on another assistant and I'm like, hey, follow this SOP standard operating procedure. I need to give you access to the account. I would just come here, click on the little share button right over here. And now I can start adding in, you know, Frank's awesome VA at gmail.com and I can click share. One thing that I do want to note is uh, right over here where it says allow recipient to view password, make sure that is always unchecked because if you check that, then your VA would be able to see your, uh, your password. So just for uh, example purposes, I want to use Dropbox as an example. So I have two different Dropbox accounts and let's say I want to share this one with Frank's awesome VA at gmail.com. I always say it doesn't exist, but I would click share. Now, the next time that I go over to Dropbox, let's go to Dropbox, I would come to this page. And if you look over here, you'll see these little three dots, just like you do on your toolbar up here. You can just click on this. And then now, LastPass says, okay, I know that this website is stored in our vault and you want to access this or give your teammate access to this. Which account do you want to give them access to? So it could be my you know, dummy account or it could be my you know, sweet ATX pads, my real estate business account. So whichever one I want to give them access to, they would just click on this. And let's say it is the Frank at sweet ATX pads. They would just click on this. Oh, I did that wrong. Let me click on that again. There we go. Uh, I don't know why it's not working. Uh, let me just. That, that, and I know it's not working because we didn't put the email. There we go. So there we go. All right, this is recorded live, guys. So sorry for the delay. Maybe I just refreshed this. <laughs> All right, I refreshed it. Selected it. Where's the login? Oh, sign in. That's, there it goes. That was being, that was difficult. All right, so I'm signing in. Again, if you notice that the password never came up, it was just the three little, bu the little bubbles. So I don't know if you saw that, but the pa I never saw the password. I just saw the bubbles that were there. And now I have access to my, uh, this for me is my Dropbox where I put in pictures of my new properties, where I put pictures of any logos, any types of different things. And, and this is getting a little bit into uh, the back end of how to, you, how to work with virtual assistants and SOP, standard operating procedures, how to systemize your business. And this is my operation. So for one of my real estate businesses, my residential side, this is where I tell my VAs to go and I say, follow these instructions. Here's access to the accounts that you need and go grow my business for me. They, they have a system in place. 
There's people that are running that system. I guide them, I train them, I invest the time into working with them, and then I move on and start different businesses or maybe do some consulting or work on another business or maybe just focus on time with my family, my friends, go to yoga, smoke a cigar, come travel to Columbia, those kinds of things. So hopefully this taught you a lot on how to share your password with your virtual assistant. I made this video for one of my friends, Josh. He just got hacked and he was on Facebook and he did a Facebook Live. So I wanted to show him how you can share your passwords without sharing your passwords. So uh, I recommend for you guys to go to uh, bit.ly if you like this training, bit.ly forward slash talented one. This will take you to my private Facebook group, The Talent Tribe, and that is where is my, is my online community and as you can see a lot of people are trying to join in we've got about 1400 at the time of this recording entrepreneurs in the group and I share tri tips and tricks with you like this if you are looking to work with a virtual assistant I have a virtual assistant Academy sorry for the, the plane I live right next to the airport uh, so yeah if you're looking to hire a virtual assistant work with a virtual assistant I do have a virtual assistant Academy there'll be some links around this video and if you're looking to have somebody like myself hire a virtual assistant for you. My company does offer that as a service, and I do offer operations consulting for those that are qualified. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, whether this is on whatever social channel this is on. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video, and if you like this video, comment. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you liked, and if you really found value in this and you feel like your friends and uh, colleagues would enjoy this, go ahead and share this out for me. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you in my next video.